are you? I am 45. 45. What you do for a living? I'm an educator. Educator. Do you have any kids? I do. I have a 19-year-old daughter and a 15-year-old son. Okay. Both by the same man? Yes. Yes. Have you ever been married? Yes. When did you get divorced? I've been divorced for 10 years. Okay, for 10 years. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio. We got Angelica, Nashville, Tennessee, 45. Scorpio educator, was divorced. I mean, was married, now divorced. Mom to two by her ex-husband, correct? Correct. What kind of man are you looking for, Angelica? Oh, what's your zodiac? You told me. What kind of, oh, how old are you? 45. Oh, I wrote that down, that's my fault. What kind of man are you looking for, Angelica? I'm 45 too. And beautiful as ever. <laughs> So I'm just looking for a person who is about their business, not about games, not about out here trying to have more than one woman. Um, I'm looking for someone, if you have children, that you are a father to your children, because I dare not be with somebody, a type of man that I wouldn't have wanted for my kids. My kids said is amazing. So if you can't be about your kids, then you can't be about me. Um, I want you to be a hard worker. I'm not really necessarily into how much you're making because if you have $10 and you know how to make that work and save and do what you need to do to handle your business, then that's fine because a person can have all the money in the world and still be broke because they don't know how to um, invest their money, save their money, and do what they need to do. Woo, you came ready. <laughs> I watch your show all the time and I say, no, I'm not gonna, gonna get on there and Kendra be like, honey child, get it together. Nope, I didn't want that. <laughs> okay, what are, what are your deal breakers? My deal breakers again, if you're not, if you have children and you're not taking care of your children, if you are a hoe and you have more than one woman, if you're not a worker and can take care of your business, cause <laughs> Not, I'm not gonna let her go on tangent. We gotta, we gotta slow cook this because she's saying a lot. She's 45. We are gonna call her Fitty. All right, for sure. Kendra had an epiphany there, huh? Y'all pay attention. Kendra said, "Whoa, I'm 45, aka Fitty. This is to here. We over at you, 45. Two kids by your ex husband, but he was amazing. Us knowing the the divorce data." We know that the probability that she filed for divorce is at least 80%. So we're going to ride with that. So your man, your baby, your ex-husband is so amazing. Your words, why would you leave? You, for you left your husband just to be back out on the date market demanding another man, another ambitious go-getter man. You shan't not get it. <laughs> Here we go. Let her cook. I'm not into the business of taking care of no grown man. My daddy told me if I need a man to take care of me, then I have a daddy. And so if I need my daddy, I will call him. But other than that, I just want you to handle yours. And I'm Did your daddy tell you to leave your husband? Did your daddy tell you to not push away from the table, not go to the gym? Your daddy told you that also, huh? If your daddy told you to leave your husband, he be a bad father. And I lay out rest on that one. For real. Oh, my daddy told me. Women, when you are over the age of 21, don't come up here talking about what your daddy told you, your mama, your grandparents was married for 50 years. It, none of it matters. You out here by your damn self. There you go. That part. Hyena. Hmm. I'm going to handle mine. Mm, child. Ooh, she said, I'm on no hoe. She look a certain way. Um, I'm not really into looks like that. And I'm not saying I just want somebody who's ugly or something like that. But at the end of the day, they can't help how they look. They can't help who their parents are and got together and produced them. But if you have a great personality and you take the time out to make me feel special, I'm, I don't need you to make me feel confident because I have to have the confidence in myself. But just make me feel special. Make me feel like I matter in your life, that I don't come last on the totem pole, but that I'm just as equally as important as some of the other things in your life. Okay. Um, should he make a certain amount of money? No. You don't care about that? Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay, I'm going to stand up, but I can't turn around and all of that because I hurt my leg today. Oh no, what you do? What happened? I fell. Look, I'm gonna show you. Look at this. Why did you fall? Wait, oh. 
Yeah, wow. I was at a funeral and tripped on a little rock, honey, and went and down goes Frazier. So hopefully you can see me. I am a plus size girl, 276.4. So if you don't like a big girl, don't come my way because I'm very confident in my bigness. What the last woman say? God made you how God wants you. There is a man out there for you. Remember that last big uh hyper pigment sister? She just they be lying to each other. And let me go back to this knee. She talked about yeah. I, was at a funeral. <laughs> I just failed. We had a couple women up here lately, they big and clumsy, they just falling over themselves. This is sick. Listen here. And she said, I'm 274.7 pounds. Yeah, what? Look at that. Ooh, she, listen here. She pushing 300. F that. She pushing 300. She had a funeral. 300. Yeah, she 300. We ain't about to play. <laughs> she, she had a funeral. Whole time's out. Do y'all not understand how dramatic that was? Look at her knee. It was this wasn't no quick little oh uh oh almost no she went down they had to get helped up now you got the old guy they said don't nobody want to help her up she's single y'all know how this y'all big then then you got women right Mr. Walk your wife come back go ahead come on Mr. Walk help her up be, you got men they like come on man help her they like oh help help up remember remember what hey. she said to me last week remember how she called me everything but a child of God we know but help her up. See, my wife know. Listen here. I'm kind, but I'm not nice. I'm that guy that will stop and help you on the side of the road and tell you about yourself at the same time. I'm kind, but I'm not nice. So my wife know. She'll be like, why don't you help Bonquisha? I'll be like, Bonquisha, good. Where she, where she at? <laughs> she took all of the all the attention off the funeral. You know what I'm saying? Somebody done passed away, went on to glory, and she over here hollering and falling off to the side. Y'all know what I'm talking about. With her but, old- Mr. Walker, if she would have stayed with her husband, he could have helped her up kindly. You're like, whoa, my wife just bit the dust. Let me help my wife up off the ground. And she's sitting there looking pitiful, probably mad at everybody because she done fail with your big old self. You big, you overweight, and you done failed it down. <laughs> Like and can't get up and can't get up on by herself. Look at that knee. She fell for real. It's gonna take her a while to heal. She all cranky now and honorary. <laughs> yeah, she laying down there. They had to go get a damn forklift to get her up. And she they go to listen, family and friends talking about her for the for the upcoming week. We know that. If not the month, they had like, to get the um they had to get that device that they lowered the casket down into the hole with. They had to use that same device to pick her up. Y'all know that big old crane they used to drop that casket? They had to go. They said, somebody go get the crane. She done fell. Let's uh, Them old folks sitting there rubbing it. They say, yeah, you know Shirley fell at the funeral. Mm-hmm. It's a shame. Her husband wasn't there. You know she divorced him. Yeah, yeah. Charles and had to help her up. It was embarrassing, girl. She going to go to church. It's Shameful God. It's so bad. <laughs> Here we go. Hit the like button. Now she okay. Yeah, wow. I was at a funeral and tripped on a little rock, honey, and went and down goes Frazier. So hopefully you can see me. I am a plus size girl, 276.4. So if you don't like a big girl, don't come my way because I'm very confident in my bigness. Oh, not the way. I think you're the first woman ever. In the four years of me hosting the show, that gave her actual weight. Listen, it is what it is. Everybody not meant to be skinny, and I'm okay with that. It's just all about how I carry myself, and I carry myself with elegance. I'm not a sloppy big girl. I keep myself up, and I I bathe properly so you would never smell me. Or you a lie, and the truth ain't in you. Now you gonna stop lying? Now, now we gonna stop the lies? You what? You ain't big and sloppy. You didn't fail at a funeral. That's sloppy as it gets. <laughs> I don't smell. You ain't going to smell me. What? Bull jive. That's a bull crap. Well, if we ask your husband, <laughs> your ex-husband, get out of our face, woman. Yeah, she's going to talk about our base. My hygiene is on point. That's embarrassing. You a woman. Your hygiene supposed to be good. You a woman. You understand? That's 
it's a double standard for real for real woman you ain't supposed to have no smells to you at all yes stop it it's modern days you ain't got no excuse to have a funk to you especially not a stench and the fact well, that you gotta on. come up here and sell you i was gonna say we bring mr wilson in the room not so uh, fast and a lot of big women but just smell and i mean oh. bad there's some big women, but just smell so bad, it'll make the, uh, the shark jump out the ocean. It be upside down, upside down. Boy, you turn me inside out, round and round. Upside down, you turn me. So some of them, they can make the sharks jump out the ocean. Not so fast. She says she won't. She say her high jeans is up to par. We believe you. See me inappropriate. It. it's just all about how i carry myself and i carry myself with elegance i'm not a sloppy big girl i keep myself up and i i bathe properly so you would never smell me or see me inappropriate Ooh, Angelica ain't playing with y'all tonight <laughs> okay they said we like her um what was your last relationship um, my last relationship was with my ex-husband um just because i've just been trying to get myself together um, and in, even speaking with that, I know you're going to ask me about my flaws and that's my, I don't think it's a flaw for me. I have a great co-parenting relationship with my ex-husband because one of the things I feel is that because two adults couldn't work it out, that don't mean that your children need to suffer. So me and my ex-husband, we get along very well. Um, my children, they don't, they have a two parent home the best of a two parent home with us being in two separate households. He has another wife and she understands nah. that we co-parent. I'm not into being nobody's side piece. No, no, no. You left your husband to be a side piece. He remarried. We talk about this. It's so easy for men to find happiness after miserable women. It's too, it's too damn easy for this man to find happiness after this yes oh my goodness she trying not to let happen what's inevitable huh shout to that nose she said i did not get divorced just become a side piece no you actually got divorced just to become a side piece what's the stat it's rough like 80 percent of divorced women become side pieces to married men you won your prize, you goof troop. You go, you sad piece now. You a big old blowed out sad piece. Get out of our face. Stop. Oh my God. Here we go. Okay, so he's super chat. I want to take that back a second. So yeah, I see somebody chat. Her husband is remarried. This is this is classic. Here we go. We're gonna let her land this plane. Hit the like button. I don't mean that your children need to suffer. So me and my ex-husband, we get along very well. Um, my children, they don't, they have a two parent home, the best of a two parent home with us being in two separate households. He has another wife and she understands that we co-parent. I'm not into being nobody's side piece. I'm not going from a wife to a side piece. So you don't have to worry about me being his side piece or me messing with him. We just co-parent our children. Okay. Now you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when was the last time you was intimate with someone? Um, I haven't been intimate with anyone in probably the last five years, unless you count my rose. I do have my rose, and and it is fully charged. Woo! Okay, Angelica, a couple things. I want to back up. Why did you get it? Huh. She got her rose, and it's fully charged. This is Well, listen. Huh. <laughs> the rose just hit us up. The rose. The rose got Look at that. That rose, woo! If some of these chicks' rose had a nose, look at it. That is that rose. Like, take me now, Lord, take me now. <laughs> oh my God! Like, yeah. oh. stop, stop with this rose. That rose ain't got nothing for her. She three hundred pounds. Listen, what they the ladies let us know. We on to y'all. They tell us a little bit of truth. But we know what she really got. She got that big old four foot one personal massager. She got it. She plug it into a power converter, then plug that into the wall. There it is. Wow, 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 wow. Straight 
gigawatts. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. She got a rose. She left her husband and bought about three roses. They, <laughs> there you go. How you women so proud to come up here on Beyonce's internet talking about beating a meat? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here we go. You was intimate with someone. Um, I haven't been intimate with anyone in probably the last five years, unless you count my rose. I do have my rose, and and it is fully charged. Woo! Okay, Angelica. A couple things. I want to back up. Why did you get a divorce? Um, just because we got married really young and my ex-husband wasn't really ready to like just be with one woman, which is okay because he was young. And so sometimes we try to think that our vagina is better than the next woman's vagina and that we can make them be faithful and we can. And then women, when we try to withhold our vagina, like, oh, you cheated on me. I'm not sleeping with you. Okay, what you want to do another woman will. So y'all either going to work it out or you need to move on. And so I understood that. I'm going to write a book dealing with that because, baby, we, we have to be real with one another. I Here we go. Y'all say, why did her husband leave? Two reasons. A, she got too big. He probably wanted her to lose weight. He he, he like, I don't want. And then she say, what, if he was a cheater and I'm going to withhold this cuda or or whatever, you make me mad. You get no box. She said he just went out the house and got it from somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> that going right. And that go for all men. Ain't no way in hell any man. You got to get on your square because there's no way in hell your wife can tell you you can't get no cuda And then you can't then go outside the house and get some cuda That threat has to remain for life. <laughs> yes, it does. Otherwise... You're going to lose. If that ain't there, she really don't like you. It's Caddy Wampus. You want that to be there? So does she. All the all of the folks from back in the day, y'all know. Y'all done heard y'all drunk aunties look at y'all drunk uncle and say, Ninja, where you going? Don't nobody want you. Don't be the drunk uncle getting talked to like that. She needs to always know somebody wants you. It makes her happy. That that fulfills her hypergamous nature. So be that for her. That's what she get for weaponizing her kudakata. Kudakata games. Cave, you should talk about that. Wicked work. Do what y'all want, though. My vagina, like, oh, you cheated on me. I'm not sleeping with you. Okay, we'll make them be faithful, and we can. And then women, when we try to withhold our vagina, like, oh, you cheated on me. I'm not sleeping with you. Okay, what you want to do, another woman will. So y'all either going to work it out or you need to move on. And so I understood that. I'm going to write a book dealing with that because, baby, we have to be real with one another. I feel like if more women are real with one another, then we can help our sister girls out. Okay, now, why haven't you been intimate in five years? Um, Just because I'm not one who just like to sleep around. I don't, it's too much going on out there. And women, no matter what we think, we think with our vagina sometimes. So if we land down with somebody and we like, oh, we just having sex after a while, you're going to catch feelings. And I got tired of catching feelings for these men who weren't catching feelings for me. So I had to protect my heart, my emotions, and my spirit. So I just decided not to. She was out here being taken to Pound Town and Glade City. And these... Jesus Christ. She just if, this, did it. if this ain't a cautionary tale for some of you married women, if there's married women watching right now, take notes. Casual hunching is extremely detrimental to your health. And I'm serious. You look at her face. Look at the scowl and the defeat. She she tell her story. And I guess that's kind of cool. She said, I'm going to let the sisters know. Don't be out here like me. I divorced my husband to become a sad chick. And be out here on the Winnie Carousel. She said, I'm catching feelings. And they ain't catching no feelings for me. She said, on my worst nights, they leaving $40 on the end table. She had to eat that. And she scorned. We get it. We get it. So she like, I'm catching back shots and feelings. And they they just glazing. That's it. That's it. Do you not understand when she got to go be in her husband's presence? That's not a good thing for her. She got to go see her husband and his new wife. And she will forever be single unless she decides to marry a bum. That's wild. Simple as that.
So. Fair enough. So is this a celibacy journey like to marriage or just until you meet the right person? Just until I meet the right person. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, did you give me your three flaws? Uh, well, I gave you one flaw that others might think is a flaw. Um, and sometimes I can get attached really quick. Um, and so with me being, getting attached, sometimes men don't like that. Um, that's just because I like to be around my man. Like the little girls say, my man, my man, my man. I like to be around my man. Um, and sometimes they might not like that. They think that that's overbearing. So I need to work on that. Um, and just dealing with men who have not treated me right, like just in a dating phase or just being, um, honest and sometimes triggers like if a man come around me and they turn their phone over or they put it on ringer or they ignore the call that might trigger me to snap like what you got going on i don't have time for that so i need to work on that every seriously man you don't have to flip your phone over don't disguise anything if y'all out on a date sit your phone on the table face up and, and if it vibrates a ring and she say who is that say it's your other woman <laughs> and tell her tell her she say who is that say it's my other woman hold on i gotta go outside and take this all right yeah keep it real there you go straight like that that's wild man it's not the same that if i'm a forgive and forget i need to do that and not bring old situations into newness so i need to work on that okay okay and they like you angelica why would a guy be lucky to be with you um i'm when I'm with somebody, I go all in. Like, I love them for real. And can't nobody talk bad about them. If you have something negative to say about them, say it amongst you and your homies or your homegirls, but not in front of me. Um, and that I will do my best to make them happy, whatever that means. I, I try to uh, be in their world the way they want me to be in their world. And if they have children, I try to accept, not try, I do accept their children as my own because when you commit to them, you're committing to them in, in the, in its entirety, meaning their children as well. So I'm just, I feel like I'm a good girl. Okay. We love it. Now, Angelica, are you on the Kendra G singles dating app? We have a dating app. Okay. No. How do I get to that? What do I do? Okay. What kind of iPhone do you have? Um, a 15, a 15. Okay. So you have an iPhone. I meant, okay. So you will go to your Apple store. Go to, that's the app. 45 Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, what's the age range you would date? Um, 45 to maybe 55. Okay. And should he be in Nashville? Yeah, I'm not. A, that's another one of my flaws. I am scared to fly. I got to get my life together. I've only flown one time and I need to get it together. So yes, be in Nashville because I'm not going to come visit you. Okay. Woo! <laughs> you don't want to get on planes, girl. It, uh, one oh, time in your own entire life. I'm missing out on so much of the world. My best friends and all of them, they fly all the time. And I just like, bring me a shot glass because I'm not going. Yeah, because last time she went, she had to buy two plane tickets for herself. That ain't right. So she like, I'm done. I'll get on the bus. I'll drive. <laughs> the mega bus, huh? Yeah, I'm surprised. Hold up. Is this the first Bone Quisha, the first arrogant uppity Bone Quisha to come up here without a passport? Ah, I think we got some uh, first, squeegee kid. Mark it down, brother. No flying Bone Quisha. No traveling. Imagine that. We about to drag her to the pit and keep it moving. Hit me with the pow towel, show me. Uh, before I get out of here, because if she gets anything, it's only going to be me. That's a fact. <laughs> and he can eat me out. Huh? I'm out here in Miami. Hey, looking for the hoochie daddy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> pow, tell Shody. That'd be a fun pal to take fishing. She's going to keep you entertained. Probably scared of fish away, but entertained. Yeah. She can pound town all the way down the pit, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Right. Fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter.